Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a, I guess it's a continuation of the 55 and over annual um, community sale that a very, very nice mobile home park puts on each year. The first part was the special Coca-Cola uh, video that I did, and I'll try to put in a card in here so it'll show up on top here if you uh, have not seen that yet. Um, that was all about a retired uh, gentleman who worked for Coca-Cola and all of the really fun things um, that he picked up kind of along the way of his working there. So this is what I picked up at the rest of the um, community sale. And it's a big mix of uh, goodies. So um, again, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales, which are every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. But if you see something you like, feel free to um, leave a comment below. There we go. Or you can send me an email and my email address is in the description. And if you are new to my channel, uh, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live from my sales and when I put out content like this. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I am surrounded by stuff and I don't quite know where to start. So I'm going to start with this. So this is, oh, such a cool little doll chair, probably American doll size chair, but oh, I love that. Um, let's see, put that over there, or it'll put itself wherever it wants to go. Um, okay. I pick up, gosh, are we even going to be able to get into here? Well, there are some really cute little, um, Christmas picks that I picked up. There's one. This one has some silver. Let's see if we can get in here. They did a nice job of uh, putting a paper towel on here so nothing would happen to it. So the one was green with glitter. That one was silver with glitter. And then I've got a gold with glitter also. The other two had red balls. I don't think this one has any. Um, but those are always fun to pick up for decorations. And let's see, what is in here? Um, again, I'm going to be just as surprised as you are to see what all I picked up. So we've got, oh, okay. So this is one thing in this bag. And it is this super cool dragon. Look at that fantastic figurine. And he is marked Made in Japan on the bottom. But yeah, he was way too cool to leave behind. Okay, then we've got this. This is, I think, a set of coasters. And we've got some quail, I think. And then, let me see. Yeah, all the coasters are the same. And they are this really nice black lacquer. And this was done by Otagiri. Oops, there we go. Nope. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Otagiri made in Japan. Got Cruella. Love Cruella, especially for Halloween. She is so awesome. And this one, well, okay, it does say it's Walt Disney Company. I was wondering if it was Walt Disney Store. I couldn't remember, but it just says an exclusive from Walt Disney Company. And then I've got the little. Um, this one was uh, the Madame Alexander that I think was from McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. And she's the ad, Madam Alexander. Um, 
So here is a great little, like a tea light holder. Comes with a base and the base might be signed by an artist, like the person who made it. It might just be a scribble, but this is really neat. It sits on here and we've got hummingbirds on here. So it's a beautiful little pottery. And again, all those little holes to let the light out uh, for a tea light. That. I think it'll stay there. Okay. Tupperware. Oh yeah. The orange Tupperware pitcher. And it's in really good condition. So that was an exciting find. Okay. And yep, I got some jewelry while I was there, some um, Christmas pins. So I think this goes this way. Oh, can I get to my little magnifier? Let me see. Oh, where's my other one? I buried it. Well, there is a signature on here. This one doesn't have the little extra loop to get in really close, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to read who made that, but that's a really pretty one with the pine, more of a fall. Um, this one is just a little resin push pin, but oh, so cute with the little decorated tree. Let's see what else I've got. I've got, oh, this pretty elephant one. And I don't remember, I don't think that one is signed. I've got, I think, two. Oh, maybe this one all goes together. Let's see. It's a little twisted, but I think it all goes together and it's got some of these fun enamel flowers. And then we've got these nice painted glass beads. So it's a nice little mix in here and we'll get that untangled. And then what is this? Uh, must be a necklace here. Here we go. So again, some nice glass beads on there. And then this fun little fish pendant. And there, okay. And then two of these, which surprisingly are not quite identical. You can see the green is just a little bit of a different color. So it must be two different years those came out. All right, let's get on to this one. And, oh, yep, these are the roosters. So I got a whole bunch of rooster or two rooster and hen sets. Let's see if I can pull out the matching one. Nope, I think that's the bigger one. Okay, hold on. Let's get the sets together here. There we go. Okay, so one set is white with gold. Isn't that a nice set. Um, it does have some markings on the bottom, but I'm not sure if maybe these were just a hobbyist piece. And then... We move these over. Okay. One more done on that one. And then there's this set. There we go. Now this has got a lot of praising on it and a marking here that I have a feeling 56 might have been the year these were done. 
but really cool on those. They need a cleaning. I think they've been out in the shed. And a couple more pieces of jewelry. Here we've got a pretty bracelet with all kinds of goodies dangling from it. And this one with some glass beads. And then this pretty bracelet, like a cloisonne with butterflies. And okay, that's it from there. And I got this little guy and he says he's a Fitz and Floyd. There we go. It's like a little cannon. And yeah, it's a holder. And on the bottom here, it does say 1977, Fitz and Floyd. And, oh, okay. So she did write on here that it is a fireplace match holder is what this little guy is. A fireplace match holder from Fitz and Floyd. And then I got um, a few of these crochet goodies. That one is pink. This is a square one, also in pink. This one is kind of pink and red. And let's see, this one is pretty with the kind of springtime colors and then a blue one. And those are more almost to be like, um, dishcloth. You could use them as doilies, but you could also use them as dishcloths for washing your dishes. Okay, then we've got, let's see, this is like a, I was trying to figure out if the, um, it's, un, so this design isn't um, exposed. It's like it's under a lacquer which is what I was trying to move my hand. But yeah, it's under a lacquer and it's these beautiful peacocks. And then it has a turtle clasp. Get in there so you can see the little turtle. Um, it's marked made in Korea. And then I'm gonna open it up and it's mirrored. And then it has this nice little padding there for a little jewelry box, but how cool is that one? Sneeze. And then I've got a couple of these. <laughs> There's the sneeze. Um, like cloisonne plates. Really pretty. They're not marked on the back as to where or who made them, but they were really pretty. And that's it for that one. Okay, then I've got this fun bacon cookbook. <laughs> it's just a small little cookbook, but uh, yeah, that was too fun to pass up. Put that there. Then I've got a whole tray. Oh, I did not notice. Well, that one doesn't have one. This one, okay. So this one, I'm gonna point out, it's got like a little bead here, but it's missing on this side. And it might be that there were four on here and only one is still on there. So I'm gonna mention that just in case anyone was interested in that one, that there is a little bit of a defect on it. Now I've got, look at these little cards. Um, one of the gals there said that her mother made all of these little cards. I'll show a little sampling of them. There's the snowman and the tree. And what else have we got? Oh, this is a cute one. And then I'll see if I can get her. There we go. So she made all of these. And I've got the whole tray. A whole tray of them. 
So I might end up using um, some of these or a lot of these maybe as package toppers for my upcoming, um, probably can't use all of them as package toppers, but look at that for a little gift tag. But yeah, there's some fun things I haven't even had a chance to go through really and um, take a look at all of them. Oh, look at this. Look at that house. Oh, that's the same one. Okay. And that's the same. And then we've got the girl. We got a, what is this? Oh, look at that stocking. Yeah, so there's just some really fun, fun things in here. Um, all kinds of stuff. And um, a lot of things repeated. Um, same pattern over and over again. But uh, yeah, couldn't leave that behind. And then, yep, got the brown one. Now the brown one I think was used a little more. But orange and brown Tupperware for fall coming up. And this one I think just needs a little washing. And it'll be fine. But great decor having the Tupperware containers out for fall. And then I picked up this book. Oh, wait till you see the inside. I could not leave this behind. Mushroom Magic. And so I think this, um, where I got this was a gal who did a lot of painting and crafting and stuff. And so I think this is kind of a how to do all of these different kinds of mushrooms. But look at all of the beautiful artwork inside here for all of the different kinds of mushrooms. So, oh, this was just so good. Had to grab it. Just full of pictures. That's the back cover too. <laughs> so yeah, had to have that. Let me see what year that came out in. So it's a visionary field guide for mushrooms. And this came out in, okay. You need to tell me somewhere here. I'm up to the forward and I'm not seeing it. Okay, so maybe I just, I don't know when this book came out which is a shame. Oh, we got a little mouse. As I was looking for it, I found a little mouse. <laughs> so yeah, loved that. Now, here's a great little lot for crafters. We've got this cute little puppy dog tissue box. Everybody needs a puppy dog tissue box and it does look it does look open, but everything I think is in there. Um just got some random fabric here, but great greens for anyone doing a um, kind of a Christmas holiday and need some green. Here is um, laundry today or naked tomorrow. And this one, I don't think it just has a little tear right here, but it looks like it's got everything you need. Here is Happy Campers. And it's like a little towel. And then you can stitch. Oh, we've got an owl. We've got the cute little camper and the little forest or the little fire and the bear. And again, that one was not open. This one has been open, but it looks like all of the parts are here for all of these little sequin Santas. Okay, now um, on to some coloring books. This one is huge. Now I'm not going to say, as I was looking through these, it looks like maybe on a couple of them, some random pages were done, but for the most part, um, they are uncolored. Again, there might be a random page or two that is, but look at this one. Huge, huge. And then we've got inspiring um, mandalas. Beautiful again. 
Yep, there's more. There is flowers. Nice. This one is just a little one. Okay. The art of Hallmark. So this must be something with Hallmark. Yeah. And so this is, I guess, art that Hallmark has come up with. Oh, did you see that owl? Um, the mind mindfulness coloring book. So this has got all kinds of different designs in it. Beautiful. Kaleidoscope wonders color art for everyone. Oh, these are so pretty just on their own, even without being colored in. They are so pretty. Okay, this is a crafting book. So cute and clever. Farm and forest friends. Oh, look how cute they are. So we've got lots of crafts in here for the dog. Dog named Elliot. So great. And all of the patterns. Um, okay, here's another one. Cute and clever totes. Look at those animals. Oh, look at that. Cat, owl, and fox. Oh, love it. And uh, yeah, so again, that and all of the patterns and everything you need. This is a The Joy of Painting by Bob Ross. You gotta love Bob Ross. And uh, yeah, so it shows here how to do all of these great bits of art. Okay, this is the coloring studio. And I guess inspiration and designs for art. Um, Bells and Blossoms coloring book. So again, getting ready for all of those little wintertime activities. Oh, these are so good for that. And um, Mandala Madness. Oh, that's so pretty on the cover. And again, just a random one or two filled in. And then, okay, I think the last one of these, Color Your World. And this was a calendar, but it has each page on the calendar is more art. All right, now I'm on to this bag. Afghan and I think okay so I think we're starting the Afghan segment all right we've got beautiful there most of these are lap size there's one this one is a quilt. Some are quilts, some are crocheted afghans. Look at this beauty. Okay, and then we've got this one. This one again is more of a lap size. This is like a teal blue. This one, oh yeah, this is like the wedding ring and beautiful colors on this one. I did notice though that there are a couple like right here where the stitching is coming undone a little bit. Um, so you'll want to be very careful with this, but oh, look at this, so nice. And yeah, I'll get measurements on this, but. Might be twin bed size. I don't know if this is big enough to be double but I can measure that one. Um, then we've got this 
colorful one, blue and yellow. So navy and a light blue and yellow. We've got green and yellow. Again, these are more like throw size that on your lap. And then a pink one. And okay, and then the last thing I'm going to show this, I couldn't decide if I was going to show it or not, but these, I'm going to keep these, but I'm going to show them. Um, so I did save them for last. So here is the first one, which is this Vogue cover. And this is from December 15th, 1911. Now these are professionally framed, really nicely done. And oh, I love that one. And then here is the other one. And this is from, this is also Vogue. Oh, here we go. Um, September 1st, 1922 is this one. And so, yeah, those, they're big. They would be impossible to ship unless I took them out of a frame. And I have to say, I really, really, really like them. So yeah, I'm going to keep them, but I decided to share that <laughs> with you guys. Um, so thank you so much for watching. And again, if you see something that interests you, feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email. Otherwise, these will start being incorporated into my live sales, which are every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. and Saturday night at 10 p.m. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. And thank you again. I'll see you next time.